Then today I start a new topic. The new training session is Aruba CPPM. Aruba, what is meant by Aruba CPPM? Aruba CPPM is a clear path policy manager to identify, enforce, and protect. So I now start this basic training and how I explain the so many things in the uh, how to configure the NAC, how to configure the policy, how to configure the enforcement services inside, how to generate the report, everything on the step by step. I complete the all com training com. All the completed training session on that your uh, on country session. Today, our first session to start the CPPM is because uh, so many friends may suggest to can start the training session to CPPM because CPPM is the most government sector bank and banking sector protecting tools. So, the start today, Aruba Clear Pass. So, Aruba Clear Pass is a policy management platform that many businesses are implementing to do and mostly on board new devices. Grant verify varying the access levels and keep their network are secure. ClearPass allows you to safely connect business and personal devices to your network and in compliance with your security policies. It allows you to grant full or limited access to the device based on user roles, device type and cyber security postures. There are two there are three important points to the Aruba CPVMs. First is the identity, identify, enforce and protect. So I explain the ba basic scenario, then going to the live, uh, live Aruba clear pass, everything and explain to start down to the up level, take them this ground level, explaining to how to do the clear pass working, how to do this configuration, everything on that clear pass. Already I am logging the clear pass. So, but just a brief about the uh, how to, to protect them, then I will explain the each and everything and step by step training. You can. So, I start the three main important points to Aruba CPM. We will do it. Identify, enforce, and protect. What is meant by identify? With this new demand of network access, the burden on your IT department has increased exponentially, and it is not just a laptop and smartphones that should be on your radar IoT devices printers and even surveillance cameras are connecting to the compliance wireless networks blah blah things are connected to the networks so, so many devices are connecting to your networks how to manage the networks they are going to identify how to identify clear pass helps to identify which device are being used clear pass help to identify which device are being used which device are connecting to your networks are the networks device are connecting to the switches laptop printer server what is device are connected to network they are fully identified with the help of the clear pass how many are connected to your networks means how many devices are connected to networks how many endpoints are connected to the network how many printers are connected to the how many customers combined Camera and connect to nets, all visibility in the help of is seen there with the help of Aruba Clear Pass. We can identify we are trying to connect from which are opting and again more thing which connected device and which operating system running on the systems when on endpoints. They are also visible to the help visibility in the clear pass. It, con it, con it gives a continuous visibility into the changes in your networks, including which devices are connecting and which disconnecting. If you connect a device, is it disconnected to which devices are connected, which device not connecting, they are totally visible in the clear pass. We need to device specific information. You can easily identify the device. The like devices like the do take the endpoints, the PC, that uh, visibility type and model name. MAC address of the systems, IP address of the system, NIC, visible to the NIC, which NIC are connect, which LAN card is kind, vendor are kind in the install the endpoints, that also visibility, OS, OS version, which OS are installing the endpoints, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, and which VLAN are connecting that endpoints, that endpoints detecting all information with the help of the which. Uh, I talking about the model numbers, MAC address, IP address, NIC vendors, means the LAN card details with the OS version, with the uh, IP address, subnet, which server are connecting. Again, one more thing, the install application, if the uh, this endpoints are connecting your end, in your environment, net infrastructure, they are all endpoint visibility in your clear pass. If the, how many application installed on the system, antivirus update or not, 
each and everything visibility in the use the eclair pass are identified third is enforce so the cpp enforce enforcing network policy can be pose a huge challenge to the it department enforcing the policy the huge challenge to the it department due to the if the policy are pushing the misuse of the things so more huge impact to the entire network so how to controlling in the clear pass enforcing the network policy when an employees want to add a new device to the network they often have to go to the extensive it protocol they have even need to someone from it to walk they went through the process clear pass allow you to enforce the policy clear pass allows you to enforce the policy during the onboarding uh, of a new device with the good advantage of the clear pass it clear pass allows you to enforce the policy during the onboarding of new devices without any invest investigation from your it team what is the good point of the clear pass allows you to enforce a policy during the onboarding any devices any new device without investigation from the your it department whether it's a laptop smartphone or security cameras a built in certificate authority lets you support device more quickly without any additional id it resources your it team will simply need to establish a fund foundation of security and right rules that define in the enforcement policy who can onboard a device who can onboard a device which device can onboard so first we take example of the if you any device are onboarded what is the basic fundamental of that if any system are connected you anybody has connected in the networks we should be allowing the ad that endpoint should be connect should be user id in ad id if the you are not ad id you are connecting the different id using any other administrator or different account so that that endpoint automatically block our quarantine it's impose the policy helpless help you for the enforcement of the that clear pass the type of device a users can onboard how many device each user can be onboard that is a good things that also manage the enforce policy you can then enforce access a number of ways you can use a portal or you can use the more secure and preferred method to use encryption in the authentication process after device are granted access clear pass uses active and passive profiling method to monitor your network and keep it safe third point is to protect how to protect the cppm to your environment infrastructure hundreds of not thousands of devices are connecting to your network how many will you ensure that your network are stay secure you believe that no so the health of individual devices connected to your network is an essential component to the network security with the clear pass on god your it team can be define the level of health device must have order to gain network access the solution of automatically conduct critical endpoint health check and posture assessment to ensure that all the devices are com- plain with your requirement it work both wired or wireless to protect clear pass also offer variety of third party integration which will touch on their shortly this integration empower of implementation of dynamic policy control threat redemption you will have a real time insight into activity on your network equipping you need to identify and address any threats may present themselves after all you are if you prepare to your take action to discover unusual network behavior that requires establishing undefined approach that can be block traffic or disconnect devices when necessary even middle of night middle of the night so there are three main important point to the cpp in identify and protect so i just 
brief small introduction to this i am going to teach i am going to explain the cppm right now i am accessing the latest version of the cppm 6.10.6 this is a latest version is updated version and the our current version is going on the our cppm so this is a or explain the version of and the platform c1000 is a platform and the clear version 6.10.6 is the latest version not already so there are four subscriber and one is a publisher that means a three subscriber and one publisher there are this is our dashboard this is our, our clear for dashboard this is our clear for dashboard you can see the dashboard cluster tests we can change authentication all the this is a template this is a tab you can need to change if if you need to change the tab is easily you can drag and drop you could easily drag and drop only is an easily drag and drop that's it if you want to change it is this dashboard you need to only click on that particular tab and drag and drop this automatically you can change your dashboard so it is you can easy easy to dashboard you can manage your itself what which you want to tab you in the front which category you want to change which need to uh, add one more tab see this directly link to the or one system. so sorry for the inconvenience so just i'm checking the my connectivity because the internet is going to jumbling so just sorry for inconvenience so so i explain the dashboard management dashboard how you can manage what you can design which we design yourself your own not too difficult to manage the dashboards each and each and every tab you can drag and drop so is the drag and drops easily which tab you need to front which this is the all the tabs you can you can drag and drop here that's it so the very important dashboard we can designing this first well most of the best practice you can the cluster status is the first window first tab and so they uh, then going to below what you need and what your choice you can decide design whatever you need to set this so the first dashboard in the first dashboard in the alert method what is alert so i drag and drop and explain this is alert admin you login fail alerts you can this alert regarding the login alert second all request authentication requests see how many authenticated requests we can this see 22 is like that request percentage you can see there now 28 july so today is very less as compared to the 24 26 okay the authentication is lowest third application see the application inside guest on board so there are three types of tools in inside is a reporting tool to generate the reports watch on the report generate the reports i will explain each and every tab in inside how to generate the report how to download the report how to create the report each and every thing i'll uh, explain to you next uh, coming uh, coming days so i'll explain that also guest configuration guest also guest configuration is still pending because i cover the last point on the guest on board still we are not using the on board i use the on guard so that i'll explain on board and guest i'll explain the last so that i explain but this uh, inside is first then last we will get cover on that guest and on board third is authentication this is authentication what type successful authentication what is the fail authentication these are the red signal is a fail authentication how many fail 27 is a fail 25 is a fail 251 is fail authentication this is a ra successful authentication 4382421 this is a successful authentication the request we can we can able to see this authentication plus the cluster i explain the cluster status we can design the cluster what uh, which type of you need to design clear pass the publisher i told you publisher and there are subscriber publisher is a policy manager to push the policy i explain wait so i'll just explain the dashboard 
this is a device category the device category is so many devices this is a media medical devices printer network and boxer or the router circuit switch servo storage this which even in fact access how many devices you can can able to see the visibility here also so this category this is a device family this is a device family the access point number of computer embedded game console so many printers servers this is a device family we can change the select want to change the computers you can change the computers that is the graph you can able to use the graph then the end point profiler this is the end point profiler this is a smart how many smart devices are connected 9550 50 devices are connected how many computers connected in your networks are 15283 the computer is connected in the networks and other devices like that. the total number of devices 39839 the total number of devices we can end point for somebody you can all the devices are connected so these are can able to see so this is a fail authentication this is a fail authentication this something is a try to open so this is a fail authentication also see health status these are the health status this is the red signal unhealthy request no unhealthy request are present in these graphs last authentication is so which is a last authenticated request this is a wireless request this is a last request and this is a license uses we can see the license uses license uses on guard access and on board this type of license we are using so this is a license count on guard license this is a license count uh, this is mdm summary mobile device management mobile device management does nothing other only total counts android app and does nothing so on call client summary client summary this is on call client summary linux mac total 11 okay quick link this is a quick link you can can click on any any device any you can open this like directly click on the dashboard you can go to the dash that link this is a quick link this is like go to directly access track uh, manage device care package server manager you can go to easily on that click on that uh, tab and go to direct windows i'll just open that access tracker so you can open the access tracker seek directly open the access tracker we can open the new access tracker to the different topics so i'll just so many big topics i will explain to later so just type cleaning the dashboard and then this first tab the dashboard so just hanging what is this okay i explain the live scenario and the banking sector explanations is too many big setups so i'll explain this beta to you mm. so this is cpu utilization you can check the your cpu utilizations health cpu percentage there i can able to see the year also system summary main memory how many uses that memory dx the uses of that percentage you can the graph authentication source that is mean by ad ldap this is a source of authentication these are active right this is a source of authentication so this is today i explained to the only the dashboard how to dashboard manage how to link there is mean drag and drop these are today basic explanation that today i have done tomorrow i'll explain to the monitoring there are many things access tracker accounting are going to the one by one tab and explaining each and everything and with the help of the live scenario so thank you bye bye